Hello everyone, welcome back to another Lockdown Battle Report for Flames of War Late War. Uh, today I'm playing Tom, again via uh, FaceTime. Interesting game, we are going for all infantry. Uh, only armour allowed is front armour 1, no more. So uh, Tom will be attacking, uh, the mission is no retreat. And let's have a look at his list. This is a 100 point game. So Tom is bringing a, one formation, a Falschgum Jäger company, so pretty decent formation to bring. Uh, we have the HQ, which is two SMG teams, as you can see here. And he has 1st platoon, which is a full Falschgum Jäger platoon with Panzerfausts. So that is 10 teams. 2nd platoon is a short te team, so that is 7, but he has a Panzer Shrek with them. And he also has third platoon here, uh, which is just seven teams, no equipment. Um, yes. Uh, in this formation as well are four Stummel mortars, four heavy machine guns, and four 12 centimeter mortars. Now that is all the Fashka Megas. In support, we have a support formation. We have a full. Grenadier Recon uh, Platoon, so that is seven teams and they also have seven of the short half-tracks with them as well. And they also have Panzerfausts. Uh, other support options, we have the Light Scouts, uh, so that is two two centimeter ones and a MG. Uh, we have two of the 10-4 AA guns, two of the 88 big AA guns, and we have three uh, VESPs and he has used the command card to have the uh, half track OP so everything's no more than front armor one and the other command card Tom has chosen to take uh, his own goal uh, so that could delay my reserves coming in so that is Tom's 100 point of uh, elite infantry and unless I was luck what I'm defending with so this is my D-Day British uh, Defence Force. I have two formations. First formation is a parachute company. HQ is just two SMG teams. I then have two full platoons of paras. So that is seven brown gun rifle teams and one Piat. Um, also in the formation are four 75mm howitzers, four mortars, four Vickers heavy machine guns and just two six pounder anti-tank guns um, and that is the parachute formation uh, second formation is a third division rifle company so we have a HQ of two SMG teams and then we have three full platoons so that's seven brown gun rifle teams a two inch mortar and a Piat in this formation as well are f um, at the back four uh, Vickers heavy machine gun carriers, three universal carriers, and three wasp flamethrower carriers. And in support, I have two Daimler armored troops consisting of two Daimlers and a Dingo, and I also have a universal carrier observation uh, point. So my command cards, uh, I just have one, and that is Monty Zion sides, so I can change my rifle company here to the 3rd Division Rifle Company and what that is is the um, last stand, uh, the, the motivation of a 5 uh, for rally changes to a 4 so that's quite good for me but the problem I do have is 40% of this force needs to go into reserve so that's quite a lot so basically I'm putting the entire Rifle Company and support minus the Universal Carriers in reserve and hopefully I can get them on quite quickly and hopefully the paras can deal with the German paras and I do have a lot of uh, machine gun fire and the Daimlers do have some anti-tank which will actually be useful in this game since everything's front armour 1 um, not sure to put in ambush yet um, tempted to put the Vickers heavy machine guns in ambush so they can just pop up and deal with any uh, infantry out of bulletproof cover uh, so these are the lists and now we're going to have a look at the board uh, this is today's battlefield. Uh, at the moment we've already picked deployment zones, put objectives down and minefields. So I will be defending this left hand side of the board. Uh, after I set up I decided 
Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing Tom trying to get over this river. Uh, so I'm using this river as my primary line of defence. Um, so um, I put an objective here. This is as far back as I could. And it's also really close to this uh, farmhouse. So if I put troops in there, it can hold it. Uh, basically, this is going to be fairly open until my reserves arrive. So um, I'm going to have to slow him down this corridor. So there's just going to be some artillery. Um, maybe some MGs if I pop them out of ambush. But not much. Um, but again, to slow him down, I have put a minefield before he gets to the forward. So he'll have to cross that after the minefield. Uh, unless he crosses the river over here. So in the middle by the bridge I got another minefield so I should slow him down again. Do plan on putting um, all the paratrooper platoons uh, within the vicinity of this church. Um, so that'll be uh, I suppose river first line of defence, minefield second and then it'll be the paratroopers the third and then final line is all their support options. Um, here is the objective that Tom placed, so um, I might have to put some mortars on there just to hold it. And then here are the other minefields going into this forest here, so he uh, won't be able to use that as uh, cover as easily as he would normally. And we have a minefield here as well, so a nice little present as I get over the fords, straight into a minefield. So there we go, um, that is the map. Uh, we'll get back to you after deployment and hopefully um, I will start getting some reserves and his own goal card won't cause me too much trouble. So we're fully deployed everyone. Um, we have my six pounders here looking at the river crossing. We have the pack 75mm uh, pack howitzers over here by the next objective. No piece on the hill to have a little look at everything. Uh, the Daimlers are near the centre of the board, hidden behind some buildings, and the Universal Carriers are copying them. I have second platoon, first platoon here, ready to move uh, when needed. The 8cm mortars are in the woods, and my HQ is in the tower, but not on the roof. Um, German deployment. We have a short platoon of Fastgrimmiger by here, the AA guns by here, the HQ for the Fastgrimmiger in this building, the big platoon of Fastgrimmiger are in the middle, the OP for the scouts are here, the recon scouts are here, the recon grenadier platoon is by here, and behind them is the 12cm mortars. On the hill are the flak 88s and the 8cm mortars, and the heavy machine guns are just by the river, and along the river here is the other short platoon of Fastgrimmiger, and then the Vesps are here. So. Tom has first turn, good luck to you Tom, and we are off. German movement turn one, we started over here with a follow me order, and no, a follow me across here order with the Falschgrimmiger, elite Falschgrimmiger platoon, uh, so Tom put, uh, was three of them into the minefield, to uh, try and clear it for next turn, but someone tripped over and he died and everyone is pinned now. Uh, that is all that moved on the right flank. In the centre, uh, the large Falskrim Jäger platoon have pushed up and I did a follow me just to space uh, around the wall and in the craters and these did here and there's a bit of a artillery template hole where these guys have expertly uh, deployed around and there we have movement and now we're going into shooting. Uh, German shooting consisted of artillery, um, the 12cm mortars that are arranged in the church managed to pin the HQ and the paras in the courtyard, um, the vesps have ranged in here and the 8cm mortars have ranged in on this building by here. So going into my startup step, I have the pinned HQ team and I roll a one but I get the reroll because he's formation commander and I get a six and then the infantry team outside gets a three and then I have one dice for reserves oh no ambush hmm I'm not gonna pop my ambush yet but I have a dice for reserves and I get a four so no reserves for me yet so British movement turn one
British movement. Uh, first platoon of the Paras have moved into this house here. Um, there, one of them couldn't fit in, so he's chilling out in the craters. As you can see here, the Universal Carriers have tactically moved around to here. And second platoon of paratroopers have gone into here, uh, all managed to fit in by the three that are in the craters. Again, just chilling. So we're going into shooting, plenty of artillery for me to fire. And of course, no Vickers heavy machine guns for me yet, or reserves. So, British shooting. My uh, ranged in marker here got a hit on everything, but unfortunately no kills. I rearranged the pack how it says onto this bit here. I did get a kill here though. Uh, and then I fired the UCs, this power platoon, uh, a lot of second platoon here into these guys. And I didn't get a single kill. Uh, I did get a few hits though, but not enough to wipe them out or get them off the minefield, so to speak. So, after all that, we're going into German turn two. If I get the phone ready, so... Tom can make his motivations. So, you've got one, two, three, four, five teams that need motivations. Right, uh, busy day. So yeah. Shall we start with the Palsy Megan on the right? Yep. Yep. Uh, they rolled a two, so that's oh. still pinned. Okay. Uh, then the mortars. Okay. That's oh. fine, I didn't really want them to shoot anyway. <laughs> um, then the machine guns. Yep. Uh, they're unpinned. Okay, nice. Uh, the 88s. Uh, they're unpinned. Both rolling sixes for them. Okay. Um, and then it's these all, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Um, is my commander in range? Uh, oh. Yes, he is. He, sh he should be in oh. range of one of them, yeah. Uh, good, because uh, they passed. Uh, nice. Two and a four, I rolled. Okay. Right then, so, so that is done. Um, there's nothing else for you to do in this step, so I'll stop recording as we go into German movement. Uh, on the left flank for the second Falschermäger platoon, this is where the elite Falschermäger are, because they can go into minefields and not trip up over anything and get blown up. So they have uh, jingled around, two guys are in, so they can um, attempt to uh, defuse everything and everything else has moved around. I forgot to mention the HQ did a um, shoot and scoot and has moved into the front of the building so he can spot for artillery. Uh, the middle platoon has jingled around, so some are more are in the buildings just to get a lot less out of my template. Third Falska Maker platoon, um, not doing so well. Um, they tried to dig in and it didn't work. So um, that's uh, not good for them. So we're going into German shooting for their second turn. Uh, German shooting. Um, the Vasps rearranged in onto this building here. Uh, they were rewarded with a kill for their efforts. Um, the Flak 88s have picked on these poor Universal Carriers and managed to kill one of them. Um, the 12 centimeter mortars have ranged in here, uh, no kills, and the heavy machine guns opened up on these poor traps and managed to kill one. Uh, remaining, these guys just went to go on the ground and so did the 8 centimeter mortars. And that was it for the shooting. So, going into my turn two. I have two pin down units, so the pin down unit that the Vesps have ranged in on get a two so they remain pinned and then the ones where the 12 centimeters are ranged in get a five so they're unpinned. And now, do I bring my ambush in? Uh, I'm going to say again no, but I do have two dice for reserves. And I get a six and a two, Tom. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so what am I going to bring in? Uh, I am going to bring in my... Hmm... Vickers Heavy Machine Gun Carriers. Because I think... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they're coming in and we'll get into movement.
this is the only movement I did uh, these uh, cross country dashed on and uh, as Tom pointed out I can't do a, any orders like a follow me because I've come on from reserve so uh, I've learned that today uh, so they should get into a good position uh, to cover the river crossing here. Uh, I did try to move this paratrooper forward, but then I remembered they're pinned, so he's not moving any closer to the enemy. And that is movement, and now we're going to go into shooting, and hopefully I can pick off a few more of these Falksham Giger before they start getting too close to me. Uh, shooting here uh, is from the 75 pack out as I decided to range them in. Got in on the second attempt, did get one hit, uh, no kills so far. Um, I decided to leave it. Um, second platoon of the Paras managed to pick off the unit leader here. Uh, good work you boys. Um, over here got a couple of hits on the HMGs, no kills. And they got a lot of stuff opened on this gone to ground uh, uh, Falsch Gamega platoon. Uh, just the one kill unfortunately I wanted the guys in the minefields. And that's where we are. Uh, killed a um, Stummel mortar with my own mortars. Uh, but no hits on the Flak 88 or heavy machine guns. So that is it for my turn two. And we're going into turn three for the Germans, so I'll grab my phone so Tom can do his motivations, which he has a lot less to do this time. So you have your pin down. Yes, uh, those uh, boys. So they're all four this time. Ooh, they're in, they're back in the game. Uh, you have yeah. your uh, Stummel mortars. The Stummel mortars. Uh, they're all the four, so they're... There you go. Uh, you have your center Falsch Gamega platoon. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 sorry. No, they're fine. Uh, your left Falsch Gamega platoon. Yeah. Uh, and they're in range of the formation commander, aren't they? Uh, so, yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, yes, and they rallied. Nice. So we're all rallied. Uh, and there's no reserves for Tom because he started with everything. So we're going to German movement turn three. So on the left flank here, the minefield is gone. Uh, I've been playing minefield clearance orders all wrong. Uh, once you're in the minefield, you don't have to roll. It's just a order like a follow me, and the minefield's gone. Uh, so, but this guy is the one who did it, uh, so he can't move. Uh, these light scouts have um, moved forward, and they're just out of range of my six pounders. And the AAs moved back, so they're allowed to do that. Uh, some of uh, first platoon Falsch Gamega have crossed the river, just two, one is stuck behind. Um, this minefield's gone as well, and these are the remainder are moved over here. And as you can see, now the minefield's gone, the scout cars are starting to make their push for one of my objectives. So that is done, and now we're going into shooting for German turn three. Uh, German artillery have um, earned their assault this uh, turn. Um, this building here lost a team uh, to the VESPs and 8cm mortars. Over here though, um, pretty much only two teams left after 12cm um, mortar firing and the heavy machine guns. So these guys are going to be last standing. And apart from that, a lot of pot shots here and there into various buildings. And that leaves me with some weakened paras. But going into my turn three, I have a pin down paratrooper unit by here, and they unpin on a three, and the guys who are weakened get a one, so they're staying pinned. Um, so then I'm going into last stand, I believe. Yeah, so I got a last stand unit in the middle building, and they get a three, so that's enough. Uh, ambush, I am bringing in this turn, and I have three dice for reserves, and I get a six. Tom? Is it, is it only one? Only one. Yeah, okay, so that is done. So one unit coming in, I'm going to bring in the flamethrower carriers, and that is it. So going into my movement for turn three. Uh, 
Uh, the MMG carriers have just moved tactical to here. They're just going to cover any approach to this area. Um, the Vickers Heavy Machine Guns are in this building. My Daimlers have dashed around to here. And the Universal Carriers have moved tactically. The there was a vacancy in this building for the guy in the crater, so he has moved in. And this is where my Wasp Flamethrower Carriers have ended up to cover this objective. So, not looking too bad. Uh, just starting to get a trickle of reinforcements in here. Um, so now we're going into shooting for my third turn. Uh, and hopefully things will go well. Uh, my shooting. Um, all, only three of these Falsch Mega left, thanks to uh, a lot of these boys here. Um, still, again, no kills on the Flak 88, but I did pin them this time. Uh, the Vickers Heavy Machine Guns um, killed two more bases here. And uh, I killed another unit with the Pack Howitzers over here. So, apart from that, nothing else going on. Just, again, just positioning my troops to hold on to my objectives as long as I can. With the aid of flamethrowers. So, we are going into turn four. For Tom and his Germans, is largely elite Falschgemäger units, apart from the one on the left flank, which we think might be Luftwaffe units, the way they've been going. So, do you want to start with them for their... Um, yeah, so uh, do they rally? Uh, no, they stay pinned. Okay, your, your 88s. Yeah, the 88s, uh, that one pins. And pins. Your central Falschgemäger platoon. Uh, they one pin. Okay, and then your left Falschgemäger platoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, they pin as well. Okay, and were we going to do a last stand test on middle platoon? Yeah, uh, and they pass. Okay. So we're, we're doing a last. So we're doing a last stand on that platoon because the unit leader has managed to get himself on is the river isolated. So that means uh, in command is only one team, and that's why we're doing that. So it'd be bad if he failed it because he'd be losing four. Five perfectly good Falsch Gemäge. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why you pay for free plus morale. Mm hmm. Yeah. So we're going into yeah. the German movement, and here we go. German movement. Uh, the scouts have moved over to here, uh, gone to ground because scouts, if they don't fire, but still move, they can still remain on the ground. Uh, left platoon over here shuffled around. And the first platoon, middle platoon, has uh, moved some more guys across the river, so the last stand shouldn't be too much of a problem. The recon scouts, um, three of them managed to get across the river using follow me, the dice are there to show that they can't fire. Two got stopped, so that stopped the rest of the platoon going over. And these guys tried to dig in, but third platoon being third platoon have not successfully done it, so they have just remained gone to ground for now. And that is German movement. So now we're going to go into shooting again. And there's a lot more things under that template. Probably second platoon might have seen their last turn. But I don't know. But I'm getting a lot more guys in now anyway. So here we go in into turn four for German shooting. The Germans are peppering, uh, peppering my line with machine guns and artillery. Uh, I've lost another paratrooper team in this building. Um, some flank shots for the universal carriers. Luckily managed to bounce it. Uh, the 12 centimeter mortars have left this platoon alone and they've ranged in by here. Uh, fortunately no kills, um, but pinned down units. So going into my fourth turn, um, the building with all the artillery ranged on it and they unpin on a three the middle platoon unpin on a six and the most important bit the heavy machine guns unpin on a four hmm uh, but I do have a last stand on the middle platoon and that is a five so they're good and now I have four dice for reserves And I get two sixes, Tom. Um, I'll, I'll leave it for one more go. 
Okay, so I have two more units of reserves coming in. So I'll probably bring in a formation commander and a platoon of infantry since that's all that's left. So going into my fourth turn. Uh, my movement, uh, I just reposition one of the heavy machine gun carriers just to see uh, get a better line of shots because he was out. Uh, these Daimlers got uh, decided to try and do something. Um, they tried to do a blitz move, but they did not. Uh, the newly unpinned two-man team of paratroopers, uh, they've gone into the building for better positions. Universal carriers have remained where they are. The Daimlers here, though, did successfully do a blitz move, so I'll be able to take out some half-tracks, fingers crossed. Uh, these wasps have moved over here to cover the objective, and here is the HQ and the platoon of reinforcements coming in. So they've got some time to get there, but hopefully uh, they won't be needed. So going into British shooting for turn four. Uh, my shooting turns are getting longer the more units that are coming into play. The HMGs have opened up, put that dice there just to mark that he had moved uh, onto second platoon. Uh, not many hits in total, so they're still unpinned. Um, six pounders did get a hit on the scouts but I feel my firepower so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, first platoon is pinned again, took another casualty from heavy machine guns and they also took some hits from the pack howitzers. Uh, the pack howitzers also managed to kill a HMG platoon. Uh, the mortars however finally got rid of the flak 88. The mighty Daimlers took out two of the half tracks, so two, the two guys that bailed out um, are pinned, and this guy was bailed out by a Piat. Uh, these guys again were pinned by machine gun fire from the house, the universal carriers, and the little dingo scout car that's by here. So things are starting to grind out a result here, hopefully, going into turn five, but I know. Tom is an experienced player and he'll know what to do. So, let's, let's grab Tom again, because I'm literally, because I'm using my phone, I'm every time I put Tom down, I'm putting him on the charge so my phone just doesn't die. So, yeah. the so, fake Fosca uh, Mega platoon. Infantry platoon, uh, Fosca Mega. Oh my goodness, they fail. Uh, the, um, the, Panzer Grenadier, they fail. Uh, the they bailed out one. Bailed out one, he gets back in. Oh, lucky. Oh. Good for him. Um, unfortunately, and... I, I don't think I can win the game now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I've got to get within six of the objective by next turn. This... And those two teams not moving is disastrous. I think six um, or eight. So, and then you got your pin down 88. Uh, pinned down 88, remains pinned. The pinned down HMGs. Uh, the machine guns rally. Nice. Uh, the middle platoon who is pinned. Uh, they rally. And you've got a bailed out scout car. And a bailed out scout car stays bailed out. Okay, and then last thing to do is your last stand to do on your flak 88. Yeah, which stays. Nice. Pin but stays, so that's yeah. good, I suppose. So we're going into German turn five. So again, uh, up against it now, the second platoon has finally given up and literally just running across the bridge. Luckily, no one's triggered a mine. Uh, first platoon, uh, one more base has got over the river, the other two got stuck. And over here, the rest of the half tracks, without using follow me, managed to get over. So there's even more machine guns going into my poor paratrooper platoon, which is clinging on now, very, very badly. So we're going into German shooting. So German shooting started with a smoke barrage from the eight centimeter mortars to cover the. Vickers heavy machine gun that are wreaking a bit of havoc at the moment. Um, what else? These scouts here with the mighty two centimetre guns managed to bail a dingo. They did hit a Daimler, but the armour was too thick on a mighty one. 
Um, other shooting, uh, the infantry have managed to bail a universal carrier and at the moment there's only three teams left uh, out of the paratroopers in this building here so and they're pinned as well so things aren't looking great for them but I do have some reinforcements coming so hopefully they can uh, cling on to this objective long enough and that is it for the German turn, wait for Tom to come back and I will do my motivations out. So here we have bailed out Universal Carrier again back in on a four and he is back in on a five. Uh, and then the Dingo is not back in on a three. Uh, so now I go on to my pin down infantry. So the uh, one's under the vest battery and pin on a six. The Vickers heavy machine guns are unpinned on a four. And that is it for my motivations, apart from my last stand test on those guys. And they get another six, so they're still in the fight. And now I have five dice for reserves. Two, three, five, and... I get none, so I just get one guy in. So it's going to be another infantry platoon, since that's all I have left. So, British movement. Uh, British movement. Um, here we go. Infantry and uh, wasps moving up. Uh, I tried to do a follow me with the infantry and it didn't work. Uh, so this is the next platoon that's moving in. The HMGs haven't moved because uh, they can't really see anything where they are anyway. Uh, these uh, Daimlers did pass a blitz move, so they've gone to engage the scouts. Uh, everything else has remained stationary. Apart from the universal carriers that have gone, this bridge is closed, you shall not pass. Oh, actually, no, they're not playing Lord of the Rings right now. Terrible, sorry everyone. So, we're going into shooting for the British turn 5. Hopefully kill enough Germans to kind of... Well, they have to get within 6 or 8 of this objective. Uh, to stop me winning the game. So, again, I'm feeling a bit confident now. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, British shooting. Uh, for some reason, I just can't get rid of these uh, scout half tracks. I did get one hit from basically Daimlers and Six Pounders, and they redirected it onto the already bailed out one. I failed my firepower and then it stuck around, so getting a bit annoying there. Uh, in the centre, my artillery is killing a few fast Um got another member of that team. The Universal Carriers didn't do anything. The Daimlers over here, though, killed two more half-tracks and because of that, uh, a guy died before he could get out. And that's what has happened. So we're going into German turn six. He has to get within eight inches of an objective this turn, otherwise the game will be ending on my sixth turn. So let's do the motivations first and then this could see whether Tom is either just going to go and kill as much as he can this turn to get uh, kill my VPs or yeah. push for glory. Uh, so, the fake Falskram uh, Jäger platoon down here. Yeah, Luftwaffe in disguise. Uh, they're all the two. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the pin yeah. down guys. The pin, pin down, they actually rally. Nice. But too little, too late, I think. Uh, the machine guns. Yep. They rally. Uh, flat eighty eight. Uh, yeah. Um, he he stays pinned. Okay. Uh, the centre Folsom Jaeger. Oh my God, they fail. <laughs> and the bailed out half track. And he stays bailed out. Okay. So then the last thing to do is your last stand on the flak eighty eight. Oh yes. Uh, and I roll the two, so he's had the buff. <laughs> Flak oh, 88. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I, know, I know the game's a bit futile, but my men have a sense of when they just want to drop tools and go home. <laughs> um, right. Right, so I'll uh, pause the camera. German movement down here, the AA guns are moved with a blitz move to try and get some universal carriers before the horde of Falschgemeger to avenge 
their fallen comrades, although they might not win this battle, they will take some British with them. Again with the Grenadiers over here and moving up as well. And these guys try to dig in, but 3rd Platoon being 3rd Platoon again, haven't. Uh, the Central Platoon though did. The HMGs, uh, their unit leader went, Let, let's go across the river and um, the rest of them didn't hear him, so they're stuck there. And that is how we are ending the movement for turn 6. So now we're going into German shooting. So shooting. Um, these guys aren't pinned and no kills unfortunately. Uh, artillery re-ranged in onto the building and my uh, Vickers heavy machine guns are pinned. And these universal carriers somehow uh, are not bailed or dead. Uh, a lot of stuff are fired at them, but they're still in the game. So, we are going into assaults. Tom is determined to take some more paratroopers with me, and hopefully they can hold their ground and kill a few more guys. So, we're going into turn of assaults on turn 6. Uh, assaults are both over. Unfortunately, both assaults couldn't make contact. Uh, over here there was a lot of uh, hits, I think 6 uh, or 7, uh, and Tom uh, passed only 1. Uh, over here again, uh, 6 hits, but only one paratrooper died, so no assaults. Uh, going into my turn 6 uh, is irrelevant uh, to do it, even if the platoon here runs, um, it's still going to be... Uh, one unit loss, so the margin of victory is still going to be the same. But I enjoyed the game. Um, when I set up, I was uh, I was thinking of going on this side of the river. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to replay this. Uh, so I will be attacking from this side, and uh, Tom will uh, defend from this side. I uh, don't know whether they use the same armies or not yet. We'll discuss it. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, not used all infantry lists before. Honestly, not... Uh, amazing tactics when you're defending you just sit there and hope your reinforcements come in and yeah I do sympathize with um, Tom trying to get across the river and I think my mind feels made it that little bit more tricky on the choke points and uh, holding my nerve with the Vickers heavy machine guns with another one so hope you enjoyed uh, hopefully um, lockdown will be over in a few more weeks and uh, hope everyone stays safe so ciao for now